Hello, my name is James, and I just wanted to pop on and make a quick video here to show you something that I think is really cool. And I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. And whenever I've asked people, they've never heard of it. And I think it's pretty cool, especially something we're sharing here in the, within the accessibility disability communities. And so let's jump in and take a quick look at this new Chrome feature uh, and, and what it does, uh, because I think it has some very cool applications. So let's jump in and take a look at it. So the reason I want to share this is because I am a low vision user. Uh, one of the things that very frequently impacts my user experience is poor color contrast. Uh, I see a lot of websites that use this light blue font on a white background or gray on white, um, red on black, things that are very difficult for me to, to see and read. And that makes interacting with the whole website, especially sections that make use of those, those color combinations, it makes it hard to read. It makes it uh, a challenge. And so this new Chrome feature is called reading mode. Um, and it just happened when my Chrome updated and I got a notification for it. I've been using it. Some of the guys that I work with have been using it. And so I just wanted to come on here and show you what it looks like and how it works. And so it works very similar. If I was going to inspect this page, I would right click and come down here. Um, it's in the same sort of context menu here. You can see it's called reading mode and it's a new feature. And so if I open this up, what it's gonna do is essentially split my view into two. On the left side, I still have the normal website over here. It looks like it's zoomed in a little bit and, and reflowed to uh, kind of what looks like a tablet view. But on the, the right side here, I have all of the text from this page, which is my website's homepage, in what looks like just a Word document. And the headings are still bigger and, and bolder. The paragraphs are there. We can see links in here as well. And what's cool about this is that if for whatever reason, say this white text on this charcoal dark gray was gray and it was difficult to read, over here it doesn't really matter what the styling is on the actual website because inside of here, we have this toolbar across the top where I can change the font style. So this website, my website uses a font called Poppins, but I could change this and say, I want this one, or I want something that's a little bit less decorative. I want something a little bit more plain. We could do all of that. We could change our font style right there. The most useful thing for me as a low vision user, is I can zoom this way in. Uh, so instead of leaning forward, my forehead being basically almost touching the screen, I could be a foot away from the screen and still be able to read the text that's on the screen. Uh, so that's very cool, especially for someone like myself with low vision. This little paperclip icon allows me to hide or unhide the styling from links. And so we can see this begin the journey is underlined and it's blue. If I click to hide that, it just becomes normal plain text like the rest of the document. Next to that, we can adjust the line height and we can here it's a standard, but we could set that all the way up to, um, I believe it says very loose is the way that they describe this. And so it, it adds a lot of space between one line and the next. For for me, that's, that's very helpful being able to increase that for tracking purposes, being able to quickly move to the next line down and start and continue reading without taking any unnecessary pauses or anything like that. Uh, next to that, we can adjust our letter spacing and our word spacing. So by default, it's going to be normal. And we can also set this to very wide. And so there's a lot now, now there's a lot of extra space between the letters and the words in here. And so this becomes significantly easier to read in this format because it's like a Google Doc or a Word file. Uh, I can customize it to whatever I need to. And I actually skipped over one here, and this is another one that I prefer a lot, where you can actually change the styling of the document. So you could have black text on a white background, you could invert that to a dark mode, where it's white on black. And in some cases, having black on yellow or black on blue, or this grayish blue here might be more beneficial. It really just is up to your personal preference. I pre personally like the dark mode here. And so I wanted to share this because from a low vision perspective, things like color contrast, 
a um, lot of movement, animations, GIFs, pictures. It can be a lot to read a page. And so this, to me, with my background in accessibility, this isn't just beneficial for um, reading, but it's beneficial for the low vision community. It's beneficial for uh, anybody who has difficulty focusing or becomes easily distracted because now there's no images. And, and one of the cool things you can do inside of Chrome is when you have windows like this open, you can adjust how wide they are and how much of the screen they take up. So it could be a skinny little side panel if that's something that you're into, uh, or you could basically drag it across and make the, the normal page itself this little tiny sliver on the left side of the screen. Uh, so from a, a cognitive, from a visual impairment, low vision standpoint, I think this is, is a really cool feature that Chrome has added um, that allows me as a user to make my experience more accessible, even when the website that I'm trying to browse and, and shop on or read on or whatever isn't necessarily accessible. Now, a few things that I have noticed in playing with this is that with a screen reader, specifically NVDA, because that's the one I use the most often, I can get to this toolbar up here with the screen reader but I can't get down into the text document. So it doesn't look like it's quite there yet with the screen readers. One of the things I've noticed is that with websites that are heavily e-commerce, you may not get, uh, it may not make as much sense without all of the images and, and products and everything like that. But uh, nonetheless, it does seem to work across the majority of sites. I have seen instances where it doesn't load or it takes a long time to load, which may be a little bit frustrating. But all in all, Google Chrome, kudos to you. I think this is a fantastic feature from a, a reading, from a disability, from an accessibility standpoint, allowing the users to have more customization over their, their user experience while on the web. Because as we know, most websites are not readily accessible. Uh, so to go into your Chrome settings, right click on, on a web page, open up the reading mode, uh, set it to however wide you want, go through and customize your features, um, and it will stay this way. It doesn't reset when you move from one website to the next. So once you set it once, it should stay. Uh, and, and let me know what you think about it. I think this is super cool. I think it's a great step in the right direction. And I just wanted to share it because, again, not a whole lot of people are talking about this. So thank you. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and take care.